welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to give you a quick update on Crypto.com, Crowcoin, as well as go over the overall crypto market as a whole. Without further ado, we are 10,400 subscribers. When we reach 25,000 subscribers, we are giving away a loaded line NFT. So subscribe right now. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now we are still consolidating. We are down a little bit, but I mean, we're basically we've been pegged between 30,000 and uh, we haven't even touched low 30,000s. 30,300 and 31,000 is basically what's been going on over the past few days. But um, we're still consolidating. We're in a very key channel here on Bitcoin uh, between the 28,200 and 32,700. As long as we get these daily and weekly candle closes above 28,200, I expect us to stay within this channel right here. And I do expect us to just be chopping around here until we get closer and closer to this Bitcoin happening. Like I've been saying, guys, I really do believe that um, this is the year of accumulation. There's going to be lots of range-bound motions until we get to this Bitcoin happening. We get some Bitcoin happening hype, and we start to make our big moves to the beginning of the bull market. But um, that means that really right now what I'm doing is dollar-cost averaging into the coins and companies, projects that I believe in, uh, and that's Crowcoin as well as... But I'm, honestly, right now, what I'm really putting my money into is Bitcoin and Ethereum. But I do think that there will be a time to be dollar cost averaging into altcoins as we get closer and closer to this happening. Especially if we're range bound and we say come up above 32,000, something like this, and capitulate back down to say 25,000. If we get in that area, I think there's going to be probably a great buying opportunity for a lot of altcoins. However, I will also say that if we do just slowly accumulate here and move to the upside and just get some bullish continuation leading into the Bitcoin happening, there's probably going to be for the short term a lot of uh, bleeding when it comes to the altcoins versus Bitcoin, but they will catch up. They will definitely catch up after the Bitcoin halving. So whether or not you buy now or a little bit after the Bitcoin happening, I think that probably in this range, we're getting closer and closer to a good opportunity to start dollar cost averaging into some of these altcoins. But as of right now, I'm going to be waiting a little bit until we get a little bit closer because I do think that Bitcoin will probably steal the show for the year leading into the Bitcoin happening. That's just kind of how it's been ha how it's been playing out in the previous cycles. So I do think that something like that is probably going to play out again this cycle. Let's zoom in a little bit and get a better idea of that. Because I want to show you guys, we haven't really zoomed out in a little while to check out this formation here. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Back in the previous cycle, year of accumulation, back here, Bitcoin really, really absorbed the majority of the liquidity of the crypto asset class as a whole. Back here, it was a little bit too soon. There wasn't a lot of altcoins out back in 2016. But there was a lot of altcoins, and there was definitely some times back then. I remember when I was diversified into altcoins, and Bitcoin just ripped and roared. And that's kind of when I learned, basically, that the year leading into the Bitcoin halvings are going to be on repeat. And, you know, that four-year cycle are, is the biggest data point that we have and the most accurate data point to follow. And that's what I've been doing, and that's basically a lot of my... Uh, Trading strategies are pinned to the four-year cycle ever since the past. I mean, I've been in this since 2015, 2016, and um, the four-year cycle is definitely the most consistent data point that I have that I use on a consistent basis when I'm trading crypto. Let's take a look over the S&P 500 because we are at a very key level here, guys. Over on the daily chart, we are getting closer and closer to this next level of $4,500. We came down, we tested this level of 4330 and I do think we bounced right off of that. I do think that we need to see some continuation here. I want to see a move to 4653 on the S&P 500 because I do think that the more, the more people feel comfortable deploying capital into the traditional market, I think it's going to line up very, very well with people feeling comfortable into layering into risk on assets, and that would be cryptocurrency. And I do think that this, the way that this will play out here, kind of creating a cup and handle at the previous top, I think will probably be in line with when we are starting to reach the next Bitcoin halving. So I think that they'll play out perfectly. The stars will align, and that's my thesis on the overall market right there. But let's take a look over at Crowcoin a little bit because we're doing basically the same thing we've been doing for the past few days. We came up. 
We broke above. We broke after we broke down and almost tested this low right here. I did think that if Bitcoin continued to move sideways, that we were going to be coming down to five cents. But we did come back up and we retested and we got a resumption off. I do want to see this kind of come up a little bit higher before I say that this move is invalidated because um, I do think that if we don't come above the six cent price level, it will probably break below here, especially if the volume. Um, dries up, and I do unfortunately think that if we break below here, we'll probably head towards filling this gap at five cents on Crowcoin. That's just my opinion, not financial advice, but those are kind of my general ideas of where I think the market could be headed here in the not so distant future. But if you like this type of content, guys, please like this channel, like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Also, please consider becoming a member on the channel. Go below this video, click the join button. You get access to our private Discord. We have NFT Alpha, Trade Signals, more of a one-on-one -on -one community with Crypto Kip and I. And also, when we reach 100 members, we are giving away $500 worth of Bitcoin to our members each month for every month leading to the Bitcoin happening. That's 10 months of $500 giveaways. We're super excited about that. So subscribe right now. Become a member. That's all I got. See you in the next one. Bye.